Hey everybody, Kyle Munger from MLive.com, jump by Nate Adkins. Moving on to the linebackers in our positional reviews for the Lions. Uh, the big question here, Nate, I, I think it's a no-brainer. It's what is the future of DeAndre Levy? I mean, he's been such a good player for them for so long, but has not been the same player since 2014. What, what do they do with this guy? Yeah, it's a constant question, even heading into the offseason at this mm -hmm. point. He's a guy who came back and he played the final, you know, final five games at the end of the year, but he never went over 70% of snaps. And he didn't flash that sort of sideline to sideline playmaking, pass coverage type of ability that he was in 2014. Yeah. So now you're wondering, can he get back to that level? And if he can't, do you still stick with him? Because they're not going to save a lot if they cut him. They can, they can save a little over a million dollars, but it's still going to cost them more than $7 million whether they cut him or not. So I think they've got to be blown away by the alternatives you know, in the draft or free agency to get younger and want to develop those guys. I don't think it's going to be that hard to find a player of DeAndre Levy's abilities right now. I think he's a capable player, but replaceable. The, the problem is they've got to have three linebacker spots, and I think all three guys are vulnerable, and he's the guy you don't save a lot of money on. So I, I would yeah. be surprised if he does get cut. Yeah, I would be too. Uh, next year, that's when I think the contract really comes into play. They can mm -hmm. save, I think, about five to six million per, you know, let, uh, in cap space next year if they were to cut him. So that's a that's on the table. And at thir you know, he's 30 this year, mm -hmm. 31 next year. I mean, that's, you know, we'll see how he plays next year, but... Uh, that's on the table, but I, I think what the, the what the Lions have to do now is start preparing for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he has not been the same player. I, I, maybe I'm just in love with the way he used to be, like the, the player he used to be. I still think he can play well. I think give him a full season, off, uh, full off season of rest. Mm -hmm. uh, he might need some more, uh, you know, another procedure done. I'm not sure. He's been. Uh, he's no comment on those types of questions. So mm -hmm. maybe he can get more healthy next year, given a full offseason of rest. But I just don't think that's a guy you can count on because he has not been a durable player for two years now. He's missed an incredible number of games. I think he's right. played, what, like six games or so the past two years combined. So I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think you can go into 2017 counting on the guy. Yeah. And so you have to draft a replacement. You have to, to, to draft a guy or to sign a guy who can take over for him. If not in 2017, then certainly going forward. Yeah, I think that's absolutely it because we, you know, I wasn't here a year ago, but I heard guys talking that way too. You know, he's going to come back after a full off season. Of course, he had a lot of you know situations in the off season that, that kind of contributed to that. But he played every snap of the opener, and then something else happened. So with him, it's just one of those things you don't want to call a guy injury prone necessarily and paint him that way. But he hasn't shown he can be durable, and even when he's been on the field, he hasn't been the player that we used to know that he was. So. They've got questions at linebacker, obviously, and he's one of them. And, and I don't know totally what they can do at all three spots to, to fix them all. Well, he is the, he is the biggest one, but the, the lack of talent and playmaking ability the, among the other linebackers, uh, you know, to hear Whitehead and all the other guys they, they went through, Kyle Van Noy, Josh mm -hmm. Bynes I thought was okay, but just not a playmaker in the front seven. Yeah, uh, Antoine Williams is a, is a rookie. I think he'll be better going forward once he gets a, an off season and everything. But mm -hmm. you know, he just wasn't a, again, it wasn't a playmaker. The Lions lacked playmakers. DeAndre Levy was that guy. Without him and without anyone else stepping up, it was one of the biggest positions of weakness for them, and certainly it's something I think they'll look for in the draft, early in the draft probably, uh, and in free agents. Yeah, I think linebacker is an easier position to go for financially, you know, and assets in the draft, whether it's middle or outside in the 4-3. So they can replace guys. It's Can they get three guys they feel good about? And if not, which guys come back? I think that's a story to monitor as we go forward. For Nate, I'm Kyle. I'm live. Keep it right here.